Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. And guess what I got for you today? <laughs> yeah, it's Wednesday and I got a one on Wednesday. Now, to clarify, I have more than just this one Corgi, but this is the only one Corgi toys that I've got that is um, in the package and uh, well, there's a special story behind this. So let's dive into it. As you see, it says Corgi Toys, built to last. Metal die cast from the UK. Now this is uh, Emergency Series, number 30. It is a Defender. Very nice, sharp looking. Like the wheels on that. Now mine is kind of falling out of the package, but it's still intact, so I'm not, I can't open it up. Um, collect them all. There is quite a series. Now this is coming from what I believe 2012. And I bought this off of eBay. Uh, I, yeah, there's no way I'd find something like this in this condition uh, here in Wisconsin for sure. But uh, very nice detailed little model. I would like to get more of these. So if you notice, uh, kind of a different kind of packaging. Clamshell. Uh, stuck onto uh, double cardboard, I think it is. And uh, yeah, so you see the UPC code there, police. Uh, Land Rover Defender, made in China, made in metal. And as you also see there, Hornby Hobbies Limited. So let's take a look here. Uh, well, anyway, there is a whole series of these that are on this cute little card like this. Um, this is number, uh, there's a number five, uh, with this truck. I don't think it's a uh, four door. I believe I, I think it was a sedan and it was red and, uh, said fire and rescue, uh, service back there where it says police. Uh, so there's another one of these. And then there's a number 12 in this emergency ser series, uh, same kind of livery, but it's a discovery. Yeah. And then this one is number 30. Now these uh, Corgi toys in this style of packaging came in uh, this emergency. They came in uh, military, construction, in the city, and agriculture. And they would all say that right there where that emergency is. And then there was an Eddie Stoltbart. I'm not really sure who Eddie is and I didn't look into who Eddie was. Because uh, I stumbled across this uh, Humby Hobble, hum, Humby, Hornby, Hornby, excuse me, Hornby Hobbies, and uh, did a little uh, looking around at that. And uh, they just got quite a story. Um, it's a household name, apparently. Uh, Hornby Railways, British model company, uh, model railroads brand. Uh, back in 1901, Frank Hornby was the one that started it, and he got his patent for the, as some of you may have heard of the name, the uh, Meccano Construction Toys, the Meccano Construction Toys, and I think they're still going yet today. Now, back in 64, uh, Meccano and Hornby got bought out by another name that you might be familiar with, Triangle, that's T R I dash A N G, and uh, then later on were uh, sold off uh, after that went in the rears, I guess. Triangle went in the rears or receivings or whatever. And then so 1980s is when the Hornby, Hornby uh, hobbies and products took off again. And uh, so there's a little history kind of dabble into it. This is kind of a, a um, something that we don't have a lot of here in the States. So it's kind of interesting to learn a little bit about the history of uh, these toys and stuff like that. I'd really like to get a couple more of these so I could take a closer look, you know, but uh, I bought this one, um, I think because it was kind of partially coming off, uh, but it was a cheaper price on eBay. So I was able to pick it up for a good song, and I didn't have one. This is my one and only of this uh, 
little corgi. It doesn't really say the scale on here, but uh, the Hornby Railroad, it was a double O scale or just, you know, small scale. So there you go. Well, if you like what you see and you like uh, me to do more of these videos, like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you uh, hit the bell to get notified. And uh, comment down below. Do you got a hoard of these? <laughs> uh, what is What was the normal retail price for them? Are these kind of plentiful or, or not? I mean, there's quite a few in that in that series, and I, uh, you know, but uh, there you go. All right, join me over on Roverland uh, on Instagram. That's Roverland Channel. And then on Facebook, Roverland. And as always, kids, remember when you're driving, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.